Okay, so we've finished all of our stuff in World Machine and we need to get it back into Unreal 4. Um, so what I'll do is I'm going to delete this landscape. It's probably worth saving this as a new map first, just in case you ever want to go back to this. But let's delete that and we're going to want to make a new landscape. Before we do that, I need to set up a material. So I'm just going to make a folder called Landscape. I'll just call it landscape stuff and create new material landscape Not. right what I need is um, so I, I had in world machine I had uh, my grass set up my sand, the rock, all these different layers. So I need a texture for each of those. At the moment, I'm just going to use the starter content to, uh, to save time. And I'm looking for the textures. So I might not have textures that are totally appropriate for this stuff. Um, but we've got some grass. So let's have some grass. The this gravel can do for the beach. Should have some rock somewhere. So I have granite for the rock. Uh, we need snow and we need some shale. I'm going to use I'm going to use these cobblestones for the shale. Obviously, like I say, these aren't these textures aren't going to really look right. But if you if you author the textures yourself, then you should get um, a good result. So I just need something to use for snow. Let's have a look. Let's use this aluminium. It's kind of white. Okay. Right, what I need is one of these landscape layer blends. And then I need, um, in here, I need all of my layers that I'm going to use. So I need to click Add Element, and I've got one, two, three, four, five. So three, four, five. And I'm just going to name them. So the first one's Grass. Oops. Grass. I'm just going to turn the preview weight of that up to one as well, which will just kind of um, it just means that something will show to start with. And then we've got sand, we've got rock, we've got shale and snow. Okay, so I just need to plug these in. So grass goes to grass, sand goes to sand, rock to rock. Shale to shale, snow to snow. And this is all of my diffuse stuff, so this is all my base colour. So to set up my things like my normal map, I would just have to uh, repeat this. So grab my normal maps, plug all the normal maps into this, so plug the normal map for the grass into there normal map for the sand into there and so on and then that would just go into the normal map there. Um, I'm just going to do diffuse textures for now because this isn't really a lesson on making uh, materials. I'm just going to plug zero into my metallic and about 0.9 into my roughness just so that everything's not too shiny. Okay, so I've got my material now. I can make my landscape. So what I'm going to do this time is import from a file. I want to put my material in there. And we need to go and find our height map file. Okay, so that's in here. We've got height from world machine like that. 
And then if you notice now that I've put my landscape material in, I've got this layers bit that's appeared with five elements. If I drop that open, you'll see my grass, sand, rock. So this is all the stuff that I set up in my layer blend there. Uh, we also need to set this up correctly. So this should be back to, uh, in fact, I'm gonna have to go back to World Machine because I've, I've forgotten a step. Um, so let's just open World Machine and go back. Okay, so something really important I didn't do in here was my settings, my build must be uh, 2017 by 2017 to match up with that, uh, to match up with the size of the map that we're going to use in here. So we're going to set it up like this. So it needs to be overall resolution 2017. That must match with the world machine. Okay, so I'll just, where have I got it? Uh, I'm just gonna need to build that again and then that'll rebuild all those textures. Okay, back to Unreal 4. Let's just, Let's just start this again. So height from world machine. Then we've got these landscape layers. For each one of these, we need a layer info, which will allow us to, um, this is gonna tell, this layer info is where it's gonna store the information for where it should paint these different textures. So all you need to do is click this little plus, do a weight blended layer, and just let it save. I it wants to save, that's fine. Okay, now we just need to load in our um, height map files for these different things. So we should have one for grass, one for the sand, one for the rock, shale, and snow. Okay, I think that's it. So we just hit import. And we're going to have to give this a, a few minutes to build. And there we go. So if I come down into here, we should see that where we've got grassy bits, we've got, just that. we've got a grass texture on here. Obviously these textures need tons of work. Um, everything's kind of gone into the right place. So we've got a rock texture on there. Let's see if we can find, there should be some cobblestones on here. There we go. And I think there was a sandstone texture on the beach. That's kind of blended into those cobblestones as well. Um, might just have to look as to why that's gone in there and probably just set something wrong up in the material. We should have an aluminium texture for the snow on the top. You can see they're all kind of blending together as well, um, so they're blurred out. Okay, that is it for this video. Just a few last things to show you are, you can still paint these layers, so if I decided that I didn't, let's say I wanted some rock just on the floor here. Um, I can still override what I've got and paint some rock onto the floor. The other thing is, I mean, I, I wouldn't be, I think this stuff's kind of okay to give you a shape. I wouldn't be using any of these as uh, rocks. I'd be making static meshes for the, all these cliffs and stuff. I think off in the distance, so maybe like this hill here is probably fine, um, but anything that you're going to get really close up to. So if I'm down on this beach, like this, that's definitely not going to look like a, a very convincing cliff face. 
um, without a static edge. Other things that you might want to do is you could bring in the all of the color from so you could bring in the entire kind of texture map from here as a color map and you could overlay that so you could bring that in as maybe a 4k texture or something um, and in your material you could just set that up and overlay it over the whole thing um, I mean essentially there's just there's a lot more work to do in the material editor but we have got World Machine and Unreal 4 uh, just kind of communicating with each other and we can take stuff back and forth now you can see my things like my ramps that I made it's all still quite intact so the playable space that I made is is all still there I've just got much more convincing looking hills and uh, mountains and flatlands and stuff like that so I should have had a ramp down here somewhere I think yeah it's kind of just down there hey that's it